it's, it's, it's interesting when you look back after you've got realization because you see all the little events that led up to this point as if mother's just pulling you there. And when I was 14, I started reading poetry and I felt, I want to be one with God, I want to be one with God. And it sort of came and went and I had some difficult times and I went to college at 19, 18, and I thought, what am I doing here? You know, I want to be with God, you know, this is such a waste. And I remember I got out the Bible and I thought, maybe I find God here, you know. I opened the Bible and I went, no, I won't find God here. And I was really feeling desperate. And then, like Pam, I felt this voice come into me and say, don't worry, when the time is right, I will come for you. And so I just went, okay, and I relaxed. And then I went to university and I kind of overworked myself, etc. And I left college and I thought, now is my time, I'm going to find the joy that I felt I'd lost, I'm going to find myself. And I uh, earned money and I went off traveling. I was going to go to Australia. I left London, never coming back here again. Don't like the city at all. And I went off and I ended up traveling around India for five, five months. And I was really looking for a yogi in a cave, something. And I kept meeting all these people who'd met the false gurus, like Rajneesh, all these different people. And each one had a really bad experience to tell me. And I thought, oh, I'm not going there, you know. And then finally one day I was in the this jungle in this wildlife sanctuary. And someone had given me on my travels a copy of the Upanishads, um, this beautiful book translated by a realized soul. And I started reading it, and it's, it's the poetry of their experiences of union with God. And I thought, this is what I want. I want to feel this. I want to feel this joy. The next day, I met someone in the hotel I was staying at who had just come from a public program with Sri Mataji. And I asked them, you know, I kept asking people periodically. Actually, I had this strange feeling. I must ask them if they'd been anywhere, seen anyone. And I was a bit shy, and I thought, no, no, you've got to ask them. And so they gave me this leaflet, Sahaja Yoga Unique Discovery. I didn't understand a word of it. It was very intellectual about parasympathetic symptoms but it said that mother could cure physical problems and at that time I didn't realize it but I had anorexia and, and insomnia which I felt was really getting in the way of, of my leading a balanced life and I found out where Shumadji was going to be and so to leave out some details anyway I went to Delhi and uh, arrived just at the beginning of her week-long lectures she was giving and I went to the place, and actually a McGregor met me and invited me in for tea. And Shumadaji was there, and I met her. But my chakras at this time were so blocked, I really couldn't recognize her in any way. And I stayed for the program, and they gave me realization, and I didn't really feel anything. I felt like something shot up my arm, and that was it. And then they said, oh, you've got it. Go bow down. So I went to Shumadaji, and she said, uh, very good, left Nabi. And then uh, she asked me if I was vegetarian, actually, which I wasn't. <laughs> and then I went home, and I got in this rickshaw, and I went back to the hotel, and I sat down to have supper, and for the first time in like four years, I ate my meal, and there was no thoughts in my head of, don't eat this, you'll get fat, you know, this is what anorexia does, it's like talks to you the whole time. And I went, oh, wow feels really nice, you know, and then I went to sleep, and I felt like I'd slept 14 hours, and I woke up, and it had only been eight, and I went, my goodness, you know, I thought, oh, there's something special here, and it's interesting, because how mother pulls you in with, you know, you have your desire, but she pulls you in, and she gives you what you're looking for at that time, it's like she goes, okay, you know, this is your hook, this is your lure. And so I, I went back again to the next program, but I couldn't go every night. It was like physically I couldn't handle the vibration. And I wanted to go, but I couldn't. And I would just literally just spend the day waiting for the next day, and then I'd go to the program. And they were very kind, everyone. I couldn't feel a thing. <laughs> and they tried <coughs> to sort of work on me. In fact, she managed at this point gave me neck cricks, and she said, Vishudi, Vishudi. Didn't feel anything, but I really liked the yogis. For the first time, I'd been traveling for seven months at this point with lots of other young people. I wasn't a hippie, but I was kind of on the hippie trail. And it was the first time I felt these are people like me. I can't explain it other way, any other way, but I just felt this connection. And also I was impressed, um, Bob Dan was there, who was a doctor, 
and he said, yeah, this is something really special. I got realization, I threw out all my books, and I thought, oh, this is someone like me, and, and he thinks there's something special here. And then, um, so I, I kept going for like four or five days, and it was like very nebulous. I knew, I felt there's something special here, but I didn't know what it was. And I can see this is very much a period where people come in, they get realization, and it's so easy to get pulled off. You know, I could feel things trying to tell me, oh, go here, go there, but something was stronger, was pulling me, you know, towards Shumadaji. And they said, uh, we're having a seminar in Bordy, Douglas, I'm sure it was Douglas, said, come, come to the seminar. And apparently everyone said, oh, Mother, she's so caught up, you know, and Shumadaji said, don't worry, she'll be all right. So sweet. Mother knew in your heart who you were, what you were. So I went, and we were at Bordy. There was only like 30 yogis. It was just Sahaja Yoga in England and in India. This was March 1979. And we stood, we, Shumaraji was sitting in the middle, in the, at the front. And all the yogis were standing in a bandhan facing her. It's an old treatment she had. And we would sit and put, um, you'd put your, your sastraras like this, and Chris would have his hand oh, yeah. in my sastrara. Okay. And the person at the right at the left-hand side would have their hand towards Shumadaji, taking vibrations. So it would go all the way around the circle, the half circle, and the person at the end would have their hand up. Mm. So she asked, is everybody feeling vibrations in both hands, both sides? So suddenly, for the first time, I realized, yes, I'm feeling cool down my right, but nothing in the left. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. So she s called me. She said, come out and sit in front of me. So I knelt down. She said, put your hand on your heart and ask the question, Shumaraji, is this the power of the Holy Spirit? Is this the power of the Param Chaitanya? And I remember suddenly there was like this cold breeze coming towards me. And it was like whoosh. My Kundalini must have just gone boing. And I felt like this huge weight fall off my shoulders. You know, they say the weight of your shoulder felt, that's what it felt like. like you know and suddenly it was like I was awake and and up in the world <laughs> and sort of alive and I felt I felt like uh, it was kind of amazing I was in this new experience and over the next couple of hours or I felt like I felt like I got my soul back again I suddenly felt like writing poetry the whole of my left side opened up you know but still I never felt anything in my hands and at that point I realized you know, I realized this is it. I felt mother, m I felt like I'm swimming in this, in this water, and Shumadaji's up there and she's put this straw down, and if I just hold on to this straw, I'll be all right. And she said, come back to London, which I vowed never to go near again, because uh, there was only Sahaja Yoga in India and in London at the time, and I felt if I can learn to live in London through Sahaja Yoga, then I can learn to live anywhere. And I was very impressed with the Indian Sajogis because they had so much joy and love and I felt this is what I want, you know. And, and I sort of wanted to, to share that uh, it doesn't matter if you don't feel vibrations in your hands because I didn't for like six months, I never felt anything, but I did feel things inside. And Shumadaji would say, you know, that I had a lot of problems when I came. I was very blocked in my chakras. And she would say, look at Felicity, look how she's come up. You know, so I always say, if I could do it, anyone can do it. And you should never feel, you know, there's a problem with me. It's just, it's just surface. And you just give patience and time, and it comes out. And one time she said to me, whatever your problems, Felicity, you are always sincere and honest. And I felt that's the key. If you just can be honest with yourself and you be sincere, Mother works everything out. Amazing, you know.